As doctors learn more about the effects of COVID-19, a clinical trial that includes a local hospital is underway. In Eye on Health, Latrice Curry tells us more about how it can help reduce the risk of heart attacks and strokes. We are really excited to be at the forefront of research in COVID-19. And specifically, the focus of this research study is understanding how to reduce the risk of clots forming in the body. Dr. Megan Colwright leads the Structural Heart Program at the Erlanger Heart and Lung Institute. Early in the pandemic, physicians across the country and around the world observed increased rates of blood clots and inflammation among COVID-19 patients, which affected multiple organs and led to complications such as lung failure, heart attack, and stroke. So when folks get sick with COVID-19, we know that their risk of clots is very high compared to the general population. And unfortunately, we've all seen young people come in with strokes and heart attack. Dr. Jessica Whittle, an emergency medical specialist, is part of the study. We think that it may be possible to pre pre uh, prevent some of those complications by using blood thinners. And these are drugs that are already well studied and well known to be safe. So far, worldwide early results have been promising, but more research is needed. So we think that by stabilizing their system and helping to prevent performing the, uh, forming the clot in the first time, uh, we can prevent them from going on to have heart attacks, strokes, and blood clots in their lungs that um, are very dangerous in the setting of an already compromised immune system. Doctors say while well, progress is certainly being made in the fight against coronavirus, but with cases still ticking up, we are still in a very vulnerable position and need to be careful. That's why there is the continued push to get vaccinated. There is a light and it's getting brighter at the end of the tunnel. Um, and that is that the vaccines are effective, they're safe, um, they are uh, becoming more and more widely available. Our thanks to Latrice Curry for that report.